Hey there, golfers. I'm Drew Mahold, Second Swing Golf. We're at the PJ Show here in Orlando, Florida. I'm joined by Casey Schultz, Product Management at Cleveland. We got a couple new products to discuss today. Cleveland's done a great job of kind of targeting those golfers that might need a little bit more forgiveness uh, from the wedges specifically. I think a real hallmark of our company in recent years has been targeting more of the game improvement golfers. Mm -hmm. And the guy who needs a little more help around the greens, so that might be something he struggles with. And the new Smart Soul line is improved over the last generation. And it's something that really a lot of those golfers who don't want to put in the time to really improve their short game and you know the regular average day weekend warriors can really benefit with improving everything they do around the greens yeah because you know you see a lot of wedges out there and it's kind of I mean, it's a forged design that's yeah. not necessarily for every player and you see players you know using forged irons that use those but then you also see players using game improvement clubs yeah and they go straight to forged wedges and this kind of makes more sense for a lot of players out there so Exactly. Get it, let's get into the technology a little bit now. How did you guys come about that and what really makes the Smart Soul wedges unique? Yeah, I mean, the technology behind the Smart Soul originally was designed for specific shots. So we started with the S and the C. S is designed to help you get out of those sand traps and also help around the greens as well. The whole idea behind the club is this large sole that yeah. really allows you to reduce chunks and to really take any of the guesswork out of the bunker play. Okay. So you aim a little bit behind the ball and you just take that same swing you would take on a normal chip shot and you can get onto every green. Okay. So people who are playing their entire life with these blade wedges and are always going to have trouble getting out of those bunkers and want an easy solution that was the idea behind this original club and okay. now in its fourth generation we've kept improving and improving sure we've got more leading edge balance in this new generation and it's just the best one we've ever made and it's the best one we believe in the market for those players who really need the help out of the sand absolutely now you got the c and the g as well yes. what are those going to be targeting what type of shots you can hit with those yeah guys. so the c is mainly designed for those chip shots around the green and it's um, really useful for somebody who has trouble getting consistent contact on chips so okay. don't have to worry about hitting the behind the ball we've got a little more bounce you can see on the three-tiered sole here this is new this generation as well and it's really a useful club for the guy who struggles to get the ball on the green and doesn't okay. have that kind of consistency that All the right. better players the tour players are used to seeing absolutely so yeah. a lot of that um, extra green to work with like you mentioned maybe for sure. those bump and run type of shots yeah you get a you know it's not as high lofted mm -hmm. as maybe most wedges but Definitely. it gets that gets it done for those yes. chip shots and, and then, this can be a secret weapon from a distance out too we have oh, a lot really? of okay it sort of surprised us at first but a lot of players really do use this sometimes as a pitching wedge as okay. well. Okay, interesting. So, it does have a similar loft to what you yeah. maybe put a pitching wedge in your bag. Exactly. Similar loft yeah, there. so it's kind of a dual use club. But Perfect. seeing that data, we actually ended up making a third option this year with a gap wedge that's more designed for that specific distance. Okay. So we find that these players who have trouble getting out of the bunkers might have trouble chipping. When you're 75 to 100 yards out, you also might be struggling with chunks and inconsistent contact with those shots. So okay. adding a gap wedge is something that we'd heard clamoring from the player type and it's really something that could be useful going forward, and we're really excited to see how many people find this helps their approach wedge game. Sure, 42 degrees is the loft yes. for the uh, the C. Yes. Now, what are the lofts for the G in that? The S is a 58 degree, so okay. it, we did a lot of studying. I know most people are used to like a 56 degree sand wedge, but for the player type we're targeting and to help them get out of the bunkers, this is what testing proved was the best loft for that. Okay. And then we kind of split the difference with a gap wedge at 50 degrees that okay. could really sort of fill that gap between these two. I mean, some people yeah. are using this as a, pitching wedge right. as well. So if they already have these two clubs in the bag, this will fit perfectly yeah. in the middle. Makes it perfect kind of to blend down all the way from really yes. wedges, right? Absolutely. Now we'll kind of transition to, you know, a, a different model. Yes. Uh, the CBX full face. Absolutely. Uh, so now this is kind of a, it's become a little bit of a trend it has. where the, the grooves are covering the entire face, but Cleveland has made some unique innovations to it as well yes. to kind of make it their own and improve the performance as well. Absolutely. I think um, as Cleveland Golf, we always try to do something new and different that nobody else has ever done before. This sort of design is available in the market, but nobody's ever focused on the forgiveness aspect. We increase the forgiveness from what anybody else has ever done before and really use that CBX technology in sort of a more versatile wedge. So for player types, I would say from um, Smart Soul is your most game improvement player, the guy who really needs the help around the greens. And then CBX2 isn't a little bit of a better player than yeah. the Smart Soul, can still benefit from a slight bit of versatility, but that forgiveness is still huge. This falls between more the CBX and the RTX4. So okay. the guy with the CBX might need a little more versatility in the high clubs, likes to open it up. This club is designed just for that, but with the forgiveness of CBX wedge. As sure. Because well. I know there's a lot of players out there maybe do play you know RTX wedges throughout and maybe want just a little bit more forgiveness as yeah. well when they're maybe trying to create a shot. And that's what the 
the full face groove sure. allow you to do is open the face, close the face, whatever you want to do around the greens. Yeah. That's the, the big advantage when you have the full face grooves, right? Yeah, it really inspires confidence when you're looking at a wedge and you're not worried about opening it and seeing that toe fly open mm -hmm. yeah. and not being able to hit it in that part. So I wouldn't recommend trying to hit it off the toe, but if you miss <laughs> right. out there, then it's not going to have as big sure. of a performance detriment as you would without it. Yeah, now one thing I think we mentioned before we started recording mm -hmm. here was the center of gravity. Yes. So that's kind of the big also because you got a little bit more shaping towards the yes, toe. That sure. does in, uh, change the center of gravity a little bit. Now, how does that uh, impact the performance? It's a huge um, benefit over any other full face wedge you'll find in the market as their center of gravity is actually a little bit toe side. Amateurs, as we've done a lot of testing, tend to hit it out of that location. Okay. This is really a good wedge that's going to benefit them around the greens. Absolutely. Well, Casey, thank you for joining us.